It is day four of Vermont State Police's investigation into the murder of 77-year-old Honoree Fleming, a former dean of Castleton University. NBC 5's Amanda Martin Ryan spoke to students returning to campus today after their fall break as they get ready to head back to class this week. Crime scene tape is still blocking off this entrance to the rail trail, and as you can see, it's just yards away from a campus entrance. Level of concern varies among the students I spoke to, but all of them say they won't be going back on the rail trail for the rest of the semester. Well, I know I'm not going to be walking that way anytime yeah. soon. <laughs> State police continuing to circle VSU's Castleton campus as a suspect in Thursday's homicide is still at large and unknown to investigators. Sister Samara and Diamanta Rideout, sophomore and senior say their return from fall break doesn't feel like much of a return. It's like definitely a lot quieter. Usually all my friends will be coming back at this time, but a lot of them have chosen to stay home for an extra day, especially with the cancellation. Um, so it's just super different from the atmosphere we're used to. VSP now looking for a male with short red hair instead of dark hair as previously reported. They say he's 5'10 and was last seen wearing a dark gray shirt and black backpack. Students unsettled, knowing that's still the primary lead for investigators. That's what makes me the most nervous, and like they don't really know where he is. So, like he could really be anywhere, and he could change his looks too. We've, I know my parents have talked to me about that. They're like, just be aware. No, it doesn't really help because, you know, that's like almost everybody you come across. Um, so it, it is surprising. Um, and it's really upsetting too. Junior football player Josh Peters is nervous to see how the ongoing manhunt could impact his practices and upcoming game. However long it takes them to catch him, if he's still on the loose come Saturday, like I don't, I don't know like what's to happen. One student who didn't want to be on camera says he walked and biked the trail often, but now he'll never go back on it. He says he's also too scared to walk from one side of campus to another. The rideout's parents giving important reminders before bringing their daughters back to Castleton. They're really big and like, you know, stick together. They, they never want to walk in alone regardless. So now like they're really like, make sure you're with somebody all the time. Never be too careful. Classes resumed Tuesday and VSP is still calling the suspect armed and dangerous. They're continuing to urge members of the public and businesses to check their security footage from October 5th. In Castleton, Amanda Martin Ryan, NBC5 News.